Hungry? This prairie dog sure is. Like the prairie dog, all animals need food to stay alive. They also need water. Plants need water too. When it rains, water soaks into the ground and plants take the water in through their roots. As these runners pant, air goes in and out of their lungs. People cannot live without air. Plants and animals, including people, are different in many ways. But they are all alive, and they all need food, water, and air to live. Every living thing must have food for energy to stay alive. And each has its own way of getting the food it needs. This monkey in India uses its long arms to pluck leaves and fruits from trees. The koala eats the leaves of just one kind of tree, eucalyptus. Like the monkey, and like many animals, the koala eats only plants. Lions eat other animals. Here, a lioness breaks from her hiding place and rushes toward zebras and a wildebeest. The lioness closes in on the wildebeest. If she makes the kill, her family will have a huge meal. Other animals have different ways of hunting for food. This woodpecker listens for insects moving under the bark of a tree. When it hears them, the bird pecks into the bark with its sharp beak. Then the woodpecker catches the insects with its long tongue. Sharp points on the tongue help spear the insects and pull them out of the tree. An archer fish lurks just below the surface of the water. Using its mouth and tongue, the fish shoots drops of water at an insect on a leaf. These water bullets knock the insect into the water and the fish has its meal. A few animals use tools to get their food. This chimpanzee pokes a stem of grass into a large termite mound. The termites, defending their home, bite the grass and hold on. Then the chimp pulls out the stem and nibbles off the termites as you might eat corn from the cob. Now here's a delicate situation. This egg is bigger than the snake's entire head. But if the snake takes just a bite, the egg will spill out onto the ground. So what's a hungry snake to do? Open wide! Using its jaws, the snake slowly forces the whole egg through its mouth and into its throat. Special muscles and bones in the animal's throat will crush the shell. Then the snake will use the egg itself for food and spit out the broken shell. Plants need food too, but plants don't eat the way animals do. Instead, most plants make their own food. Using sunlight, the green leaves of carrot plants make food from air, water, and minerals. But they make more food than the plants need right away. Each carrot plant stores the extra food in its root, the orange part that grows below the ground. When you eat a carrot, you are eating the plant's stored food. Hey, ant, watch your step. These pitcher plants feed on insects. When an insect falls into one of the pitcher-shaped leaves, well, it gets liquidated. Slowly, the liquid inside this pitcher plant will break up these flies so the plant can use them for food. All living things need water as well as food to stay alive. All the liquids you drink, including juice and milk, contain mostly water. A puppy drinks from a girl's cupped hand. Pets rely on people to give them water. Wild animals must find water for themselves. In this dry part of Africa, many animals gather around a water hole to drink. But some animals live where there are no water holes, or rivers, or ponds. This desert in Africa lies next to the ocean. There is plenty of water in the ocean, but most animals can't drink salty seawater. However, moist fog from the ocean sometimes blows across the desert. So this beetle stands with its head down 
and its back facing the foggy wind. Water droplets from the fog will collect on the beetle's back and roll down into its mouth. This lizard, called a gecko, simply stretches out and waits for its water. The fog leaves droplets all over the gecko's body, and the animal can just lick off some of the water. The kangaroo rat, which lives in the deserts of the American Southwest, may never drink water. It can get all the liquid it needs from the seeds it eats. Since rain seldom falls in the desert, some plants, such as the barrel cactus, act as little storage tanks. The roots of this cactus quickly soak up any rain that falls, and the barrel-shaped stem expands to hold the water. Like all other living things, this caterpillar needs both food and water to stay alive. It needs one other thing too, air. You can't see air, but you can see what it does when it moves. It gently blows these dandelion seeds, and it puffs out the sails of these boats. Air is made up of invisible gases, one of which is called oxygen. Animals, including people, need oxygen to stay alive. As this girl leaps, she breathes in air. The air goes down into her lungs, which take oxygen from the air. Every cell in your body needs oxygen, including your muscle cells. When you exercise, your muscles use more oxygen than when you sit still. The muscles of these horses are using a lot of oxygen. As the horses run, they breathe hard and fast to take in more oxygen. When a horse is at rest, its muscles use less oxygen. It breathes more slowly, taking smaller amounts of oxygen into its lungs. This salamander also has lungs that take oxygen from air. But salamanders can breathe in another way too. The northern dusky salamander doesn't have any lungs. It takes in oxygen directly from the film of moisture covering its skin and the lining of its mouth. Like air, water contains oxygen. Fish can get the oxygen as they swim. This grouper gulps in water that flows over its gills, special parts inside its mouth. The gills take in the oxygen that the fish needs to stay alive. The air we breathe out contains gases our bodies can't use. One such gas is called carbon dioxide. All animals breathe out carbon dioxide. Green leaves need carbon dioxide to make food for a plant. In making food, the leaves produce oxygen, which goes out into the air. Animals need the oxygen that green leaves give off. Leaves need the carbon dioxide that animals breathe out. This is one way that plants and animals depend on each other. Living things all have certain basic needs. As a puffin eats fish, it gets the food it needs. As a ground squirrel drinks from a pool, it gets the water it needs. As a boy lifts his head to breathe, he gets the oxygen he needs from air. Like these pelicans, all living things need food, water, and air to live. And all have their own special ways of getting what they need. <laughs>